guys, you ever start to do something like, hmm? Today we're gonna be looking at people who did pretty dumb things, thinking it was a good idea. But in reality, y'all pretty dumb. <laughs> so this guy rearranged his whole keyboard how it should be. Okay, see, at first this might look like a good idea. But everybody's already used to this keyboard. The damage is done. You cannot reverse it. Like, imagine typing on this keyboard. It just goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, J, K. Wait, why is the keyboard like this in the first place? Why are the letters like this? Like A S D F G H J. Why? Who came up with this? Okay, so the dude who invented the keyboard created the QWERTY, that's what it's called, to slow typists down. So they type slower because the faster somebody typed, the more often the typewriter jammed. So he put common letters in hard to reach spots. What the hell? This dude just straight up evil and rude. But you know when you do a PowerPoint and you have the work cited page? Oh god, this was the worst. Where you gotta do it in what, MLA format or some sh- Let me tell you, MLA can suck my Danny DeVito. Work cited. I already knew a lot about this, so I didn't cite anything. Here's a picture of Danny DeVito. I mean, if you got all the information from, you know, here, do you even have to cite it? I mean, technically, you can read something, memorize it, wait a few hours so it's legit. Then you don't have to cite it because the information is coming from your brain that you've already had in there for a few hours, so. Ha! F*** your MLA format. Katie, you know I have a crush on you. Will you go to prom with me? Circle your answer. Yes. Definitely yes. <laughs> and she found a no in no and circled that no. Ooh, ouch. Man, that hurts, it burns, it amputates. This kid's dad took his car keys. Son, there will be no more driving of cars. So dad put my keys in the safe. He takes the safe. Car is pushed to start, so yeah, it worked. Well, it's true, that would work. It doesn't matter what it's in. As long as the key is in the car, the car will still start if it's pushed to start. So jokes on you, dad. You know how some restaurants have to have the health grade posted on the window? And most restaurants get A's. But this nasty ass restaurant got a B rating. For health grades, that's awful and you should not eat there. Cause there's some sketchy sh going on there. So they have to post the rating on the front. And you know what they did? They made it into brunch. Put a bunch of colorful Google looking ass letters and made their awful B rating into fun and colorful brunch. On Sunday, don't have brunch there. You will probably get salmonella and die. If you ever wondered, it takes 1,367 looks to get to the middle and it takes 2,056 licks to finish the lollipop. Wow! So this guy was so bored in class one day, had his lollipop, decided to count every single lick. Well, now you know how much licks it takes to get to the center of the lollipop and how much to finish it. Man, who said my channel wasn't educational? Y'all learn something new every day. <laughs> Man dug a tunnel from home to the pub and drank every night while his wife slept. Bro, nah, you can't go drink it every night. So he dug a tunnel. I don't know, how long, how long is this tunnel? He's just gonna casually go full on worm and just slither on through the tunnel to get to the bar to drink while his wife's sleeping. Okay, I think he deserves it after all this effort till he got caught. <laughs> My brother had to make Valentine's cards for his class and this is his to his friend Dane. So this kid made his friend Dane a card for Valentine's Day. You are great, Dane. Get it? Great, Dane. <laughs> okay, that's cute and all, but why is this kid shirtless at the dinner table making Valentine's cards? All right, so this guy had a request for a graphic designer to make a poster for him. Hi, Dave, it's Tom. Can you do a poster for our music nights? Yes, mate, send me the details. We got McKella Wild, Swinter Tones, 40s Groove, and Crimson Child. What time do they start? Half eight, nine-ish. All done, mate. Love you, Dave. He's like, make me a fancy poster to promote these shows. And he just printed out the text conversation, framed it, done. Turn your friend's a graphic designer, but you ain't trying to pay them. I mean, it works. You see who's playing? You know what time it is? It's a framed poster, genius or lazy. Whenever I park illegally, I just give myself a fake ticket before somebody else does it for me. This is such a good idea because ain't nobody gonna walk up to a car 
and be like, mm, is, is that a fake ticket? Let me see that. No, they're going to see the car. Be like, ah, oh, somebody already got to this. Somebody already gave them a ticket. I probably shouldn't or can't give them a legit ticket. So if you got a fake ticket, oh, I'll take the fake ticket over a real ticket any day. Man, I know some people that will give you a real ticket just in case. I wonder if somebody saw this, they're like, hmm, our tickets ain't green. I'm gonna give them another ticket. I get most of my entertainment by putting different colored Gatorades in Starbucks cups and telling people it's a frappa jappa juza. <laughs> Bro, that ain't even a frap. Ooh, what kind of drink is that? And then he like a frappa jappa juza. Is that actual thing yes secret menu okay thanks man I ain't buying it my grandpa got YouTube on his TV but couldn't figure out how to make it full screen so he just put blankets over the parts he didn't want to look at ah uh, grandpa come on is in the corner is the one that look like a little little frame it's not that hard so he put blankets over the TV the parts that show everything else so he could just see the video. This is a little extra. It's not that hard. You make it so much harder than it has to be, grandfather. Because airline food sucks. These dudes brought their own food from home, their own pack of paper plates, their own drinks. <laughs> Damn wife, you brought the whole crock pot. They're gonna have rice and whatever that is. Man, they're like living the good life. I've done this before though, because I don't like the airplane food. So a lot of the times if I'm hungry and I'm getting on a plane, I'll go to one of my favorite restaurants, get takeout from there, and then bring it on the plane. Ain't nothing better than that. So my neighbors have a dog, right? And they got an electric fence to keep him in the yard. But this dog, this mother genius of a dog gets close enough to the fence that his collar will beep and then he lets the collar beep until it runs out of battery and then he goes and does whatever the hell he wants because he just beat the system i'm so impressed the dog came up with that damn so that dog gonna go to the fence let the collar beep until it runs out of battery and then he's gonna do whatever he wants i refuse to believe a dog is this smart i like how this kid is just watching his neighbor's dog come up with this whole master plan <laughs> how do you transport a trampoline yeah i don't think you're doing it right i mean he probably thought it was a good idea like oh yeah i could just put this on top of my car bring it home be gucci no no no. Don't this want to like fold up or something? I'm pretty sure you can fold it up. Why you gotta put the whole thing like that? Taking up two car lanes and it's probably gonna fall off anyway. I would be terrified to drive behind him. You know, that's like one of my worst nightmares. You know cars that have stuff in the back or like those big trucks that carry a ton of cars? I'm just so terrified of stuff falling out of a car and hitting me. I'm like I'm prepared. Anytime I'm driving behind one, I'm like, mm, I'm ready to swerve this any minute try me oh no 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 a woman has been busted for trying to smuggle her lover out of a prison in a suitcase she tried to bust her mans out of jail in a suitcase y'all don't see that suspicious like what's this woman doing visiting her husband in jail bringing a suitcase <laughs> like what when she's visiting him she just tells him like just just get inside the suitcase no nobody's gonna notice <laughs> And now they both in jail. Man, this is the saddest love story I've ever seen. I would have thought this was so funny, I would have just let him go. <laughs> I wonder if they made him get back in the suitcase to take a picture. Like, oh my god, look at these clowns. They really try to do this right now. I don't want to be in a relationship unless it's this extra. So this guy was on a bus. And this woman bumped into his leg. She didn't say excuse me, so when I brought it to her attention, she said your leg shouldn't have been in the way. Well, if she want to be petty, I'ma be petty. No! He tied her braid to the chair. Ugh. I don't know how he got away with that without her noticing. I think you won this petty game. I don't know if I've gotten smarter or lazier. This girl ordered pizza and didn't want to go downstairs for it. So she threw down some yarn, had the pizza guy tie the yarn around the pizza box. She just pulled it on up her window when you grounded but you hungry. Man, I would have done this. I used to get grounded where I wasn't allowed to go downstairs. And if my mom wasn't home, I would starve. If only I was this smart, then I would have had pizza. If you stain a shirt, you can simply outline the stain with Sharpie and give it a name. 
This will make you seem like you visit islands. <laughs> wow, so if you're a messy slob and spill wine all over yourself, I spill everything I eat or drink on myself. I don't know, I'm just clumsy. No problem! He just outlined the wine stains, made it look like a fancy island shirt. Like, oh, I got this from the Mississippi Islands. And then they'll be like, oh my god, he drinks wine and he visits islands! He's so sophisticated! Chill is a wine stain. I wonder if this works with skid marks. <laughs> Parents put me in charge of the decorations for my sister's grad party, but my mom misguided me a tad on the theme. So our mom was like, I need you to make a nice poster for Andrea's grad party. It's Borat themed, so maybe something with a beach. Uh, what? Sorry, I meant boat themed. Too late, you've already inspired greatness. Great success! So she photoshopped her sister's face on Borat's body on a beach. Great success indeed. It was beautiful and hairy. Very hairy. This dude was at a baseball game, sitting in the nosebleed seats. But you know what? He's still gonna watch on his phone. I don't know, trying to get a better view or whatever. What's the point of even spending money to go to the baseball game if you're just gonna watch it on your phone? I mean, whenever I go to a concert, there are people recording the concert on their phone the whole time. Like, I don't get it. Like, I get Snapchatting and recording a little bit, but the whole time, man, like, you there. Enjoy it. My friend is selling a desk and chair and didn't know the measurements, so she used her 12-pound chiwini for scale. Here is a chiwini for size comparison. You know, some people use a quarter or a can of Coke or she gonna use her chiwini. Oh my god, I always wanted a desk where I could fit my 12 pound dog. That's perfect. I'll take 20. <laughs> so this dude was trying to fool all his friends, saying he at the beach. Hmm, you sure about that? That beach look a little crusty. He over here laying on a pile of dirt, making it seem like he at the beach. Hmm, boy, who you trying to fool? But someone caught him as he was taking the picture. Like, boy, you ain't at the beach. When you have to wash your hair, but your makeup fly AF. So she put on goggles to wash her hair. Or you know what? I am a innovator. You tell them, Ashley, that makeup look bomb AF after the shower. I mean, or you could just like wash your hair in the tub, like bend over and do it. <laughs> I do it all the time. We got this genius grandma Gertrude over here. She prepared for anything. If your phone falls in the toilet, she got a container of telephone rice for you. Oh my god, grandma. She prepared for anything. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below which one was your favorite. Which one do you think is the smartest, most genius? evil, diabolical one of them all. Comment below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button in the face and subscribe to the wolf pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.